This week, private space flight company SpaceX launched another batch of its Starlink global broadband satellites. Time to let the American broomstick fly and hear the sounds of freedom. LD is go for launch. The flight controller's jab follows a comment from the head of Russia's space agency in which he said Moscow's decision to stop exporting rocket engines would force the U.S. to ride brooms to space. Starlink recently delivered terminals to Ukraine, providing free internet service as Russia continues to wage war on its neighbor, knocking out communications along the way. Meanwhile, at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, images this week of the letters V and Z appeared on machinery removing OneWeb satellites from a Russian Soyuz rocket after the British company opted to suspend all launches there. Various single letters, including V and Z, appear on Russian military hardware, and according to TheDrive.com, the head of Russia's space program says the symbols show solidarity with Russian forces attacking Ukraine. From space and war to the bottom of the sea, where scientists this week found an early explorer's shipwreck. Lost to Antarctic ice in 1915, Ernest Shackleton's ship Endurance lies 3,000 meters below the surface of the Weddell Sea. Amazingly, the British Film Institute, or BFI, has clips from a film of the journey that captured the moment when endurance met its doom. It was crushed in the ice. It sank. They lived on the ice, floating around the sea ice for another few months. Then they took to small rowing boats. Then Shackleton took an elite crew of six men from Elephant Island, 800 miles to South Georgia across the Southern Ocean. Gigantic storms, hurricane force winds. He then walked across South Georgia, the first person to ever do so hiked across the glaciers and mountains of South Georgia. Shackleton's ill-fated attempt to cross Antarctica by way of the South Pole triggered a scavenger hunt that lasted more than a century. Bankrolled by an anonymous donor, the crew of the Endurance 22 expedition dare not touch their well-preserved find that sank in waters too cold to sustain wood-eating creatures. Announcement of the discovery comes 100 years after Shackleton's death in 1922. Finally this week, a series of original NASA still images from the Apollo mission sold at auction for more than $171,000. They included images of the first and second people to walk on the moon, respectively Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. The buyer remains anonymous. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News. Yes, indeed. They've got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes.